Hi, this is Maggie. This was originally going to be two videos, but I broke it up. So this first part is about coincident partials in wide versus narrow intervals. And the next one will be the continuation about measuring a fifth. Woohoo! Wide and narrow intervals. I want you to understand something before I get started here. If I have a wide interval, a major third is wide, that means that the coincident partial from the upper note is above sharp compared to the coincident partial of the lower note. So in this case, my coincident partial is C, and the way I have this strip, it shows that C is sharp of that, of this coincident part. The, par the coincident partial from C is sharp of the coincident partial from A flat. And when I raise my C, or lower my A flat, either one. If I make this major third wider, these coincident partials go farther apart, so they beat faster. And if I bring it back together and make it more narrow, they slow down, they get closer together. It is the opposite with a narrow interval. With a narrow interval, a minor third is a narrow interval. The coincident partial from the lower note is sharper from the coincident partial of the upper note. So here I'm still on C, but the way I have my little strip lined up, it's showing that this C is very sharp of this coincident partial. So if I widen my minor third, these coincident partials get closer together and they beat more slowly. If I narrow my minor third, these coincident partials get further apart and they beat more quickly. I wanted to go over those two things before I explain the measuring tools.